Thanks, Chairperson. And uh, I just remarked earlier, uh, unfortunately, I didn't get to pull her out of the muck before she fell. So she looks an awful lot cleaner today than by the time I eventually got to pull her out of the muck. But uh, no, thanks, Chairperson. Thanks for that introduction. And, um, you know, I suppose uh, president of the IFA uh, and, you know, sometimes maybe we might be a little bit arrogant and think that people should know that. But I met a person during the week and he said, will you be able to hold on to Michael O'Neill? And I, I absolutely hadn't a clue what he was talking about. Now, I knew the Michael O'Neill that I know is, or well, that I know of, is the manager of the Northern Ireland uh, soccer team. And um, he heard any way sometime during the night that the IFA, the Irish Football Association, which is the Northern Ireland uh, regulatory body for uh, their our FAI, and he had heard during the night or on the news that the IFA were making attempts to sign a contract with Michael O'Neill. So that put me back in my box. Not everyone knows who the IFA is. So we were, uh, <coughs> I, I said, no, unfortunately, we're, we're trying to hold on to the director general we have in Damien MacDonald. And we leave, um, we leave the soccer authorities in Northern Ireland to look after Michael O'Neill. Chairperson, it's great to be here today <coughs> uh, representing the IFA and see here and forgive me if I leave out we have Porik Joyce here who's our regional chairman and also our person uh, with responsibility for the the flood project team in the organization and they've done a lot of work during the year working with yourselves and working with Minister Kenny and uh, also Minister Boxer Morn and we have our two county chairman here from two counties that has been mentioned a bit this morning two very affected counties amongst others John Hanley from Chairperson of Roscommon IFA and John Keena from Offaly <coughs> IFA, who they're over here on my right hand side. And I suppose, you know, flooding is, is a major uh, issue for Irish farmers. And we, we saw that <coughs> recent events, you know, in relation to the River Shannon, where events that were regarded as one in 100 year events, uh, we've had two of them in the past seven years. And I think this has. Um, led a lot of us to, to probably be more focused on the need for urgent, urgent action because we visited a number of farms over the past number of years and I don't have to go too far away from that. We had flooding just the other side of Athenry. I'm from Athenry and um, like I still have an image of uh, a woman, a girl that I went to school with, uh, you know, and she'd been carried out herself and the child and her husband and she having a teddy bear in her hand coming up to Christmas a few years ago and being carried out from her house in a, a transport box uh, and a tractor. And, you know, th just the devastation that she felt uh, at, at that stage. I welcome this morning's announcement by uh, Minister Kenny, um, and because any initiative that leads to the lowering of the Shannon uh, to ensure there's sufficient capacity for times of heavy rain um, is very welcome and very warranted as well. We've consistently made a number of points to the government and more uh, particularly to the ministers at the OPW as well as to various other body, bodies who have responsibility for flooding. And I suppose, and I'll just flick through a number of those points pretty quickly. And again, uh, like Tom, I apologise if some of them are uh, maybe redundant following the, the, the announcement this morning. And... Um, you know, fair play to, to Boxer for, you know, pulling that one on us. And, and uh, I fully acknowledge the work that he has, has done and continues to do. But also the interest of both himself and Sean Kenny has shown in, in the whole area and the understanding that they have of it. We've always in the IFA called for a single independent authority to deal with the ongoing efficiencies or the ongoing issues on the Shannon. Um, I suppose... The, the CFRAM was mentioned this morning and uh, the minister referred to it as the, the Bible. Um, and look, it's a, a fine and a good report. I would say that there are probably still a few atheists and maybe we as farmers uh, remain um, bits of non-believers, uh, you know, in the fact that we look at it as maybe uh, putting the, the rural areas and farmland farm yards, farm dwellings and rural dwellings uh, into second place and I think that <clears throat> it all needs to be worked on together and, uh, and cohesively. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, we've consistently said as well that the public goods 
must override environmental issues. Designations of lands must not stop works taking place. And I'm pleased, as has been referred to earlier, that works uh, are now being done at pinch points on the River Shannon. And I, I spent today uh, with Odile and uh, Brian and John on the, the, the out looking at some of the pinch points where the works has been done. Because the Shannon, it's a river that uh, really, I suppose, hasn't been maintained for 100 years and urgent work and a lot of work is required. And the commencement of the works there um, are welcome but needs to be accelerated. And I suppose this can't be stressed strongly enough. <clears throat> the maintenance of the various channels as well as the rivers entering the Shannon are necessary to allow water continue to flow. Uh, and again, the minister has alluded to channel cleaning and the pilot cases, I think he mentioned a number of counties, including Roscommon, Sligo, Leitrim, I think he mentioned Leash uh, as well and, and elsewhere. Uh, another area that uh, the IFA has put a lot of work into over the year is the cost benefit analysis and whether works would be supported or not. We feel that that had to be changed to take account of the, the farming and the business and not just the dwelling houses. Um, we made a submission to the OPW and we're, we're pleased that progress has been made and hopefully works throughout the country that have been turned down in the past can now be eligible for support. Uh, in relation to the minor work scheme, we feel there that uh, works has to be accelerated with a shorter time frame to get projects moving because delays have been and continue to be frust uh, frustrating and must be uh, addressed. The capital financial envelope uh, in recent budgets, and again Mr. Uh, the Minister referred this morning to increasing uh, the amount of money that's available there. But it's very important that that money is well spent, but that it is spent on projects that have uh, that add to the success of the of the of lowering the water levels. <clears throat> I want to acknowledge the the work of the former minister and the current minister, and we've kept in the IFA we've kept in constant touch with both of them and their uh, departments. And uh, we've continued to support their efforts and acknowledge the, the works that has been done. And I want to assure them uh, that we will continue to lobby and keep the pressure on uh, wherever it needs to be kept on in order to uh, ensure that their work is more successful and maybe made a little bit easier for them. <clears throat> I also want to mention the issue of the Turlocks and the damage that has taken place on lands and property. And there has to be a national strategy for this and look in relation to an answer from our Roscommon chairman this morning. Uh, I welcome the minister's comments uh, on, on that. Uh, we will continue to support communities and relo relocation has to be an option <clears throat> uh, in, in some instances. And there are many examples of this and I don't have to leave my own county uh, in South Galway, um, you know, Mayo, the Shannon, elsewhere, uh, where there's examples of where relocation ha has to take place. And farmyards must qualify where farmers has uh, been the victims of recent flooding. And there are a number of those in the Gart and Ardrahan area. So, <clears throat> Chairman, you know, it was very interesting listening to the, the speakers earlier this morning. And, uh, you know, I want to compliment yourselves on organising this forum and the excellent uh, speakers that we heard earlier on. Um, <clears throat> I think that your efforts uh, and the efforts of so many other individuals and organisations, uh, including uh, my own one in the IFA, um, you know, has helped in moving this forward. Uh, you know, and I think it was our Dutch speaker this morning that put up that it, it crosses over so many different, whether it's the politicians or the, the media uh, or the consultants, contractors, NGOs, um, farm organisations, urban and rural groups, you know, and we have to ensure that we continue to work together, that we continue to support each other, um, and that we continue to build on the momentum that's there at the moment. And like uh, the lady earlier said, let's acknowledge, uh, and maybe celebrate is too strong a word, but definitely acknowledge the work that's been done because, you know, success breeds success. And it was great to get out there w with yourself and Brian um, and, and John that day to see, you know, when it was done, it looked 
quite a simple job but I, I fully understand that it wasn't a simple job but it just looked so natural and to see the water flowing um, and you know we, uh, in fairness Brian it was great to, to get an example of it there but that's what we need to build on because you know what <clears throat> I suppose what a lot of people were talking I know that last January 12 months and we had the, the Taoiseach in Kinvara and I think you know in that area there had been 11 million spent on reports and what people needed to see was action. They needed to see the machines uh, doing what they did, uh, what we've seen there in the River Shannon, removing pinch points, um, you know, getting the water to flow faster. And hopefully that the start that has been made, uh, too small, Latin Hybra, that, uh, you know, let's, let's build on it and let's all support each other to ensure that that momentum continues and that we... I, I, I suppose I can't say that we won't have to be talking to people that are flooded in the future, but that there's a lot less examples of them because I remember about two years ago talking to a lady from uh, Clonmel <clears throat> and they, were, they had been flooded. Now, unfortunately, she had been raided, her house had been robbed as well at some stage prior to that uh, and she thought that she never again would come across anything that would scare her as much or make her feel so vulnerable as that robbery in the house but she I, i'll never forget and i'll finish on this her final words to me was the robbery or the flooding give her the robbery any day uh you know and that's really uh, because thankfully i've never been a victim of flood and some of our lands floods from the the claren river but it's mainly during the winter so there's never really an issue but when you hear a lady say that she'd prefer her house to be raided uh, and robbed than to have her house flooded that really uh, sends home the message of, uh, of how vulnerable she feels and the devastation that, that she felt as a result of the place being flooded. So Chairperson, thanks for organising this event. Um, thanks for your continued work and your interest in this very uh, important issue. Um, we're delighted to be involved uh, and thanks for the invitation to speak here. And we look forward to giving any support along the way or any help that the organisation that IFA can give we're only too glad to do it because our members uh, and the people we represent suffer an awful lot any time there's flooding, wherever it is, whether it's in Mount Melik. Um, in the last few days, and I travelled across by Mount Melik last night on my way from Carlow, and uh, a couple of months ago, I was up in the Inishon area in Donegal, up around Burnfoot, that has been referred to earlier as well, and just the devastation there. Uh, that was caused by those floodings. So I leave it at that chairperson and I look forward to questions or any comments afterwards. Thank you very much.